Hello guys, Kim Schisser here, bringing you another Elden Ring build. Bash 1.04 brought some incantations back from the dead. I wanted to make a build that would not only take advantage of those recent buffs, but also a well-optimized and fun build to play. Due to the nature and the requirements of some of the incantations, we have to make an intelligence face hybrid build. Making a hybrid build can be somewhat tricky because you have a bigger room for error by simply over-investing in some of the attributes like face and intelligence in our case. However, I spent a lot of time testing different breakpoints, not only for our incantations, but also for my weapon of choice with this build. In doing so, I managed to optimize my build and not over-invest needlessly in any attribute. Before we start, I want to thank you guys for the huge support you showed me in my last Spiromancy build. I'm grateful for anyone who took some of their time to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your feedback and support. Without any further delay, Let's jump right in. The incantations we are using for this build come from the Golden Order school, and we are using the Golden Order seal to cast them. It is the most fitting seal for our hybrid build since it scales very well of face and intelligence. I tested both the Golden Order seal and the Earth Tree seal, and the Golden Order seal is the clear winner for this build. It is also worth mentioning that the Golden Order seal improves the Golden Order incantations by 10%. The soft cap for the seal is 45 in both intelligence and face. Further investing will return less value per point spent. To obtain the seal, head towards the outer wall Phantom Tree Grace location and make your way east until you reach the Minor Earth Tree Church. The seal will be there waiting for you. The Hero Size is our weapon of choice for this build, and we mainly picked this weapon because of its Ash of War, Mikola's Ring of Light. The Ring of Light has a very good damage, but more importantly, a very long range and it can rapidly release one ring after another in quick succession, locking down and destroying enemies from great distance. The breakpoint for the Halo size is 50 points in face. To get the Halo size, head towards the inner Ionia Grace location and keep farming the clean rot knight that patrols the swamp. It took me a couple of tries to actually get the size to drop, but that's alright because he also drops the clean rot armor, which I think is perfect for our build. Arcane Attribute and Silver Scarab Talisman will increase the drop chance. The first incantation we are looking at is the Triple Rings of Light. It releases three rings of light that travel back and forth, hitting your enemy twice. It has a very long travel distance and covers a wide area, and you can cast one after another rapidly, overwhelming your enemy and delivering substantial amount of damage in a short period of time. It's an excellent tool to clear large packs of enemies with ease. In batch 1.04, the triple rings of light received increased damage. To get this incantation, head to the prayer room grace location and drop down to your right. Clear the enemies guarding the room and use a stone sword key to break the barrier and obtain your incantation. We also have the Radagon's rings of light incantation. When cast, it deals a huge amount of damage to every enemy around you, in 360 degrees radius. It also has a very good range and can be charged up to increase the damage even further, becoming one of the best AoE incantations you have in your arsenal. In batch 1.04, this incantation receives degrees FP cost, increased damage, and cast speed, and degrees recovery time. You can learn this incantation from any cleric after turning in the Golden Order Principia. To get the Golden Order Principia, make your way to Earth Tree Sanctuary Great Location and follow this route to easily obtain it. I also chose to add the Wrath of Gold incantation to this build. This incantation acts as a shockwave, quickly pushing any enemy around your character away while dealing a huge amount of damage. You can charge this incantation, giving it more damage and slightly more range. I feel we are in our best position when we are dealing with our enemies at range. Pushing any enemy that comes closer to us and getting that advantage back is a smart thing to do. To get the Wrath of Gold incantation, head to the forest spanning Great Bridge Grace location make your way down the crumbling bridge and head east to the nearby ruins. Go down the stairs and open the chest to obtain your incantation.
There is an incantation from the Golden Order that is very interesting with very situational use cases, and that is litany of proper deaths. It deals an enormous amount of damage to any undead enemy in the game, and denies them any resurrection attempts. The cast is very fast and affects a wide area in front of you. I found the best place to use this incantation is in Crumbling Farm Azula. It really helps clear the annoying undead enemies roaming the area there. Besides being very effective against undead enemies, it's pretty much useless. You can buy this incantation from the Hunter of the Dead after progressing his quest or obtaining his spell pairing and giving it to the Twin Maiden Husks at the Round Table Hall. We are using other incantations to bolster our build, like Golden Bow for plus 15% extra damage and 10% less damage taken in any PvE content, Black Frames Protection to increase physical damage negation by 35% but reduces all healing by 20%, the Jellyfish Shield to increase all damage by 20%, Holy Shrouding Crack Tear in the Wonders Physic mix for extra 20% damage to Holy Attacks. Let's take a look at the stats for this build. My starter class here is the Vagabond. We have 50 points in face and 45 in intelligence to meet the soft cap for the Golden Order seal and the Halo size. 16 points in dexterity and 20 points in strength for the Sheriff's Shield. My endurance is tailored for my equipment load, so if you are running the same setup, you should have around 27 points in endurance, 24 in mind, and 40 in vigor. If you want to run this build at 125, I will drop the 5 points from pace and swap Godfrey icon for Radagon's sword seal, and adjust the stats accordingly. My gear is the clean rot armor, because I just love the way it looks except for the helm. I went with the radiant gold mask to boost golden order incantations by another 10%. My talismans are the sacred scorpion charm for an extra 12% holy damage in BVE, and 8% in BVP, Rock's Canvas Talisman for 8% incantation damage, Radagon Icon to increase cast speed, and Godfrey Icon for 15% increased damage of charged incantations. If you want to squeeze more damage, you can use the Ritual Sword Talisman and cast Howl of Shabriri for 25% extra damage before each fight, although it only lasts 20 seconds and increases damage taken by 30%. In the end, and I can't stress this enough, this is a hybrid build. There is so much room for customization, and you can add or remove different incantations and spells, or even items like the Prince of Death staff, which scales very well also of intelligence and face. However, I just wanted a build that focused on the Golden Order incantations, but you are free to experiment around to suit your own needs. Again, I can't help but tell you how grateful I am for your support. I am sorry for taking a lot of your time, if you have any suggestions on how to improve my build or my content in general, please let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.